Hi all, today we're going to look at drawing multiple free body diagrams with an emphasis on locating Newton's third law force pairs in this. So first let's set up a situation. Uh, suppose we have an unfortunate incident where we have two cars run into each other. And we'll say it's bad news and they run into each other head on. Now, notice in this situation, we have two cars, and because there's only one way I draw a car, they look kind of identical. So let's go ahead and identify them as car A and car B. And just for the sake of clarity, car A was moving that way, car B was moving that way. And what we want to do is we want to draw some of our free body diagrams for each of these so that we can see exactly what's going on. So first we need to identify our system. What parts are we taking into consideration here? Remember this is just drawing a free body diagram. And we are going to take interest in the cars. So I draw a box around the cars. But now what I'm going to do is instead of trying to draw my diagram of these two things together, Let's actually pull them apart um, and do each one separately. So I'll draw car A all by itself. And then we'll do a free body diagram from there. And we'll do the same for car B, but over here. So for car A, remember the steps on this. The first thing we're going to do is actually just reduce this down to a point so that it's easier to deal with. <clears throat> and then we start going through, <clears throat> excuse me, all the point or all the forces involved on car A. So we'll start with the easy one. There is a force due to gravity, and this force is acting on the car and it is produced by the earth. So we have the force on the car from the earth. We also have upward and equal in size to that the normal force on the car from the ground. And now things can get a little interesting. Uh, we have to look at the forces on that. We have a thrust force that was causing the car to go forward that's on the car and from the ground. Now let's look at the force from the impact. These two are running into each other and as you can imagine there is a huge force felt pushing car A backwards. So when we draw this, this has to be noticeably bigger than that thrust force. Because it's a big impact. So we'll draw this as very large. And now we run into the issue of what kind of force is this? Well this force is resulting simply from car A running into car B. And so it's just the fact that these two are touching. So really, this is just a normal force on car A from car B. Now we've pretty much established all the forces on car A. Let's do the same thing from B. We still have our force of gravity on the car from the earth. We still have a normal force and these two are still equal. Let me go with separate lines to distinguish from those. So the normal force on the car from the ground and there is a thrust force on the car and that's coming from the ground as well which might seem counterintuitive but the tires push on the ground, the ground pushes back, uh, mostly from friction actually to cause that. And now we have for car B, 
running into car A going this direction, car A is going to put a huge force on it that's going to stop car B. And let's look at where that force comes from. Again, they're touching, so this is a normal force on car B from car A. Now, let's take a look at these two in comparison to each other. These thrust forces are just what's propelling the car. Forces of gravity and the normal force are pretty uninteresting as far as new things. But notice these two forces. We have a normal force on car A from car B and a normal force on car B from car A. These two are Newton's third law force pairs. For every force there is an equal and opposite force. These two touch each other, and from that touching, you get a normal force on one of them and a normal force on the other. And these forces are exactly equal in size, despite how I've drawn them. They're exactly equal in size and opposite in direction. But more importantly, I want you to notice that they happen on different objects. And this is going to be true for all Newton's third law force pairs when you have multiple things like this. When two things come in contact, the force pair from Newton's third law, one force will act on one object and the other force acts on the other. Remember, a force is an interaction between two objects. And these Newton third law pairs, one force acts on one object, one acts on the other. If they acted on the same object, they would cancel each other out and nothing would happen. So we have this on car A, the other is on car B. Very important fact to remember. All right, that's all she wrote.